Capital Summertime Ball with new Starbucks Frappuccino. It's Mitch and Suave, Critical TV, and we're here at the Capital FM Summertime Ball. We're here to get, you know, interviews with some of your favourite artists from J-Lo to Nicole Scherzinger, KEB to Rich. Today we've got it all, and you know, we're going to make sure we grab some of those interviews. So follow us through, keep it locked, Mitch and Suave. It's Mitch and Suave here with Mike Posner. How's it going, man? It's good, man. How are you? I'm fine. How you finding London? I love it here, man. Yeah. I've noticed you have your J's on. You got the Jordan 5s. Are you a big fan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had to, had to bring out the 5s today. Yeah, man. I've got Mitch and Suave. I found out recently that I didn't know that these were the most... These are these the fives have sold more than any other J's. Oh wow, I didn't know that. I'm I'm a, I'm a six fan myself. I was surprised. I was surprised. Before I start, I have to ask you a lot about your style. It's so distinctive and fresh, man. Talk us through it. Thank you, man. Well, you know, it's, it's thanks. Shout outs to our people in downtown LA, our neighbors, and a lot of it's just how we party, how we live. So we just like to keep it free wired, keep it clean. I can see your man here. He's got the he's got the Jordan threes on. Both he's got the true blues. But these ones, I ain't seen these before, man. They're crazy. Belts and still not out yet, but you know, had to cop them early, had to stun on them real quick. Since there's 75,000 people over here, I had to. They probably can't even see me though, but. You, you, you can't be doing this, man. Every time we see you, like, just, you're yes. turning the swag on, oh, man. man. You know how it is. You gotta stay fly when I'm in London town. Like you we know said before, I, I definitely need one of them Heronbone chains. It's Heronbone. Oh, yeah. Heronbone is the, the gold Heronbone movement. Shout out to Chase. Chase keep me fly all day. Yeah. I just need to ask you quickly: Is it true you're going to be in Men in Black 3? Because I'm a huge Men in Black fan. Yes, I am actually. I've got a cool cameo role. It gets to be in the first sequence of the movie, and um, I kind of play a bad girl. Oh uh, 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 yeah, that's all you want. The villain. So. The villain. I, I, I'm not being funny either. I've got yes. a scary eye for talent. Oh really? It's scary. I well, thank you. And, and I don't know why. There's something there about the look and everything. You've got something going on here. I Thanks, I, man. I, I felt it. No, we just tried to and I looked at you both and what I thought. Is that how you do it? <laughs> is that how you do it? See, this is huge, man. What else are you lot doing next? We're doing a sequel to Street Dance. Um, we're doing Street Dance 2. Um, we're going to start shooting in July. July? Yeah. yeah. And how long are you lot going to be shooting for with that? Um, the month, right? Really, that's, uh, um, I think it's a week's, a week's yeah. filming. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Also, yeah. we're in Edinburgh doing the French Festival in August. Okay. We're going to be there as well. We've got the festivals going on as well. Yeah. Everything, man. Wellies. <laughs> no, 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 no. So what's next for you guys? Uh, we got champagne showers, you know, next in the barrel, and uh, it's just gonna, it's just gonna change the way people party in the club. Everybody's gonna be spraying and stuff. You know, you're gonna buy champagne not to drink it, to pop it off. So can you guys doogie? Huh? Can you doogie? Well, you know what? He may. I'm not. I, I still need somebody to teach me <laughs> how to doogie. You know? Go and jo join the us to doogie. Yeah, baby. Let's do this. Run us for your style, cause you look seem to have the accessory game on smash. Yes, I know. I love. I love accessories. Um, yeah. You know, I. I sort of. Uh, I work with a female line called Hell's Bells. Hell's all the. Bells. All the girls out there should check it out. Hell'sBells.com. Okay. And uh, yeah, I kind of mix and match match with all their stuff so this is kind of what I came and it's Hell's Bells is that um, American or yeah it's uh, based out of Los Angeles it's like a women's streetwear brand sort okay. of thing so yeah it's dope check it out so how's it going man <laughs> um, I have to say you're one of one of two of my favorite gingers in the whole entire world. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bianca from EastEnders, Patsy Palmer. Do you watch EastEnders, by the way? She's from Woolworth, which is near me, anyway. So. Oh, okay, so it's all locals. There's a lot of gingers around there. Huh? There's a lot of gingers around there, redheads. I don't know. Maybe there's a lot of like Irish descendants. Or something. <laughs> now you gotta buy that off me. Yeah. You're not allowed you to. Know, do. That's, that's our phrase now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So how's it going, man? I'm feeling the jackets, barber, isn't it? Yeah, man. A little little piece, man. You know, I'm into jackets a bit. Yeah. Got Reed Shane and Aston, how you doing, man? Very, very well. How you doing? I thought you were Marvin for a second. No, I, oh, I, I, sometimes I get that. That's, that's, that's a compliment. I heard you're starring in a film called Red Tails. Do you want to tell the fans and the viewers a little bit yeah. about that? Uh, Red Tails is uh, the story of the Tuskegee Airmen. Those are the first African-American fighter pilots in the U.S. Air Force based in 1942. That was World War when we fought the Germans. That war. And um, yeah, I play one of the fighter pilots, produced and directed by George Lucas. It'll be out next year, February. So if you could describe yourself with one word, what would it be? Swag. 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 I mean, between the people I know, there's always a debate about who went the hardest on Game Over. I always say example, no word of a lie. Uh -huh. Who would you say went the hardest? You could be biased if you want. Uh, I, I prefer Giggs' verse, but that's Giggs. just because I'm a Giggs' fan. Oh, you're a proper Giggs fan? I'm a proper Giggs fan, that's why I did a tune with him after that, but... Um, 
I mean, everyone did their own thing. Yeah, in their own way. Yeah. Big, big, um, big actors on that film, yeah, isn't yeah. it? We got uh, we got Cuba Gooden Jr. in there. We got um, uh, uh, Elijah Kelly, myself, uh, uh, Marcus Polk. You know, a lot of a lot of young new black Hollywood. Uh, along with uh, wait, I said Cuba. Who else is in there? Terrence Howard is in there. Um, yeah, it's a good cast, really good cast. Just tell, tell us a bit about the fashion, because it's, it's kind of changed over the years, but you yeah. seem to be very versatile with it, man. Go, run us through what you're wearing today. I got, I got, my, I got my, my wood boots, got to, got to get the got young the wood boots, and then you got to get your bathing ape, just representing some old, good old times. And then we just keep it simple on the top, with a little hoodie and a leather jacket. You know how it is with the leather jacket, can't go wrong, can't go wrong. Are you a big fan of Adele? Oh, I love Adele. First time I, I heard Adele was, she was on Carson Daly singing uh, Hometown Glory. Oh, a few yeah. years ago and, and once I saw that and she sung every note with her hand, you know how she does yeah. that? I was like, this Would girl. you love to collaborate with her? Oh man, I would love to. She, she's in incredible, you know. And, and what, any shots alongside Will Smith or Samuel Lee Jones? No, Will was wonderful. He was there to welcome me on my first day. He's been amazing, um, but I'm, I get uh, the opportunity to work with Jermaine Clement and he's a brilliant actor. Okay, thank you Nicole. It was a pleasure speaking to you. Take care. Your upcoming album, Black and White. Yeah. Like, any reason for the title? I think black and whites are the, um, are the colours of life, yeah. you know what I'm saying? When I think of black and white, I just think of classical films and classic moments. I just want to make a nice, you know, classic moment of music for the UK, you know what I mean? And um, I also feel like I'm coming from the dark and going into the light, like the light's really turned on on me. So um, yeah, I think that's the reason for the title. Uh, is there anyone else you're looking forward to seeing, looking forward to seeing tonight? I'm fast man, I want to see everyone. I think you can learn something from everyone's show. And as a fan of music, I just want to see what everyone brings to the table, you know what I mean? Definitely. Yeah. Anyway, Rich, it's good catching nice up with catch you. Up, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought you were Marvin for a second. Uh, 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 I, I, sometimes I get that. That's, that's, that's a compliment, man. Nah, nah, I wish, man. Nah. I'm just Mitch, uh, we've got Suave going on right there, man. But I just want to quickly speak to you about the new single, Maybe Wanna. Um, on our site, we posted it, it's getting crazy feedback, man. I mean, is that what you lot plan? How, how far are you lot looking to go with this single? Um, hopefully as far as possible, do you yeah. know what I mean? If it bleeds out into the rest of the world and everyone likes it, then, you know, it's definitely for us going to be a big song. And obviously, you know, Dev's on it, the girl who did the yeah. G6 record and yeah. they're based down low, so I definitely think that gives it a different flavour because she's yeah. not, you know, the type of artist you first when you hear the song kind of thing, oh, she's yeah. going to jump on it, so yeah. she, she smashes it differently, so yeah. Yeah, tell us a bit about the fashion, man, because obviously you're not a fashion guy, as you're usually a bit of all saints. Just like me, actually you're just like me and us, because I'm loving the Oh, exactly. uh, you're not into blazers? Yeah. Definitely, right? Blazers. For me, at the minute, the color. Exactly, G Shocks. Just, just, and the Varsity yeah. jacket, man, you're just, I'm yeah. just looking at that. That's, I know that's just check out the logo on the back, yeah. Smash that. Yeah. Yeah. We should talk later. Varsity City, man. Shout out Varsity City. But is there anyone else, that, anyone in London that you're particularly feeling at the moment? Um, Adele. Adele. She, yeah. She's from Adele's amazing. Yeah. Some good stuff. I like uh, Tiny Tampa. Is he? From, yeah. yeah he's, he's dope. Yeah. We heard you got an upcoming single with Tiny Temper. Yeah, yeah. Tell us a bit about that, because obviously Tiny's very big here. Yeah, no, for sure. He's huge here. He's doing his thing uh, in the stage, which is, which is uh, great. Yeah. He uh, did a remix to Bass Down Low, which, okay. is, which is dope. Yeah. And did, he, did he manage to kill it? Yeah, of course. He blessed that track. Thank you, Tiny. Thank you. <laughs> you might as well call London your second home, because yeah. you're out here so much. I'm thinking about moving out here, chilling, giving me a nice little spot, shading up. I have to ask you quickly, what is your favourite track on your album? I mean, mine's Power On Me, but I just wanted to know yours. Yeah. I don't know, I guess it changes really. I mean, at the moment, probably Easy Please Me actually, which is my new Feminist single. song. I don't know, it's just, it's not even feminist. I bet there's a lot of boys who feel like that as well. It's just, I don't know, it's just a bit of fun really. Yeah. But um, yeah, I guess that was one of the newer ones that I did on my album, so it's still not kind of, uh, yeah, I'm still listening to it, it's still fresh for me. Yeah. Okay. Jada, how is it performing to 70,000 people again? How is it getting back on stage? It was awesome. You know what? It was a big crowd uh, and it had been a while, so it was uh, it felt really good. It felt you lot definitely got the recipe for hits, man. What, what kind of ingredients go into a forest movement hit? Man, when we get in the studio, it's just about keeping no boundaries, keeping it open-minded. What we say, the mentality is free wire. You know what I mean? Uh, that's how we grew up, that's how we make music, and that's how we're going to continue to rock. Check out the new single, So What, inspired by a group we look up to, the Beastie Boys. Videos out on Vivo right now. Uh, forest movement, it's been a pleasure. Thank you, man. Keep making them hits. Appreciate it. So what's next for Mike Poznan? Oh man, I'm just finishing with my new album, so I'm really excited for everyone to hear my new music. What about I'm, I'm festivals? In, I'm into my exercise as well. Oh, so yeah, for every time I party, I'll probably go for five or six runs. Oh, okay. Just gotta keep the stamina up. And it's funny that you mentioned that because uh, Mitch Suave, we're gonna be entering in the British British 10K London run on the 10th of July. How important do you think it is for um, people in your position to give back to charity? 
Uh, oh, definitely. You got. To, I mean, charity is important anyway, but so is fitness and health. Yeah, yeah. Any any healthy tips? Because we we got to start this training session soon. It's in less than a month. I don't know. I just try and get up every morning, whether I'm hungover or feeling good. I try and have a yeah. a five hour run, five mile run, and then you know hit up a sauna or something. Yeah. Sweat out that alcohol. <laughs> no, definitely. Example. It's been a pleasure, man. Hope you kill it today. Well, I'm just not busting. I'm busting a very old school Beckenbauer, uh, the, the Adidas, available 55 quid. Adidas originals. Yeah. I love them. Yeah, they're so, so nice. So, no, no, no. Joe's nice about them. Joe's nice about them. You can get an all white one yeah. with a perforated leather. Ooh. It's all white, and they're so what I call. They're not crisp. Do you know what they are? Crisp. Yeah, I might they're have to crisp. look. I might have to look. No, no, no. Do go and get them. They're the best I've ever had. I've never had such. That is the, the Montclair ski, which is yeah. which is really good with the under jacket there. Ah, oh, sweet. But look sweet, at that. But sweet, I'm trying to look at oh, oh, oh man. <laughs> Coming at you from the old school. <laughs> just shot that in from 95. Wow. Oh, man. Well, solid gold. <laughs> no, but I must have some solid gold Gucci. Yeah. Come on, that's vintage, man. It's that's vintage. Like in the day. Straight vintage, mate. And just a bit of cashmere there and just busting that. Oh, oh sweet, man. sweet, sweet. Anyway, it was nice meeting up with you. Very nice meeting. And uh, do you know what? You know it, you show it, you should stick that in the ground and grow it because you, you've got it going on. Take care, man.